for, for me, I just want you to know that whatever you do in life, mm -hmm. whatever you achieve, even if you don't achieve or fail or do whatever, my love for you is never going to change. Yeah. We'll work through things together and it's not going to change how I look at you. So my name's Aaron. I'm here today with my son Amari. We're about to play Dare to Share. I feel like it's going to be a bit difficult because me and my dad, I don't see my dad every single day. I'm hoping this brings us closer and um, lets me know a bit more about him. Are right, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready to get deep? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. In this game, players will take turns picking cards and answering questions. The amount of points you get for answering each question is based on the level of vulnerability it takes to answer it. The more vulnerable you are, the more points you'll earn. The game continues until all the cards have been dealt and the player with the most points wins. The player who cried most recently will begin. Yeah, I've, I've probably cried recently. I know, I have. For what? Um, maybe not like tearing up, like crying, mm. but like just like release a few tears. Yeah. I'm guessing you do that behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't cry in front of people. Why? I don't know. I just feel like, as me, I can't cry in front of people. I have to be by myself. I have to release everything by myself. Yeah, my dad is a very stern face. Never see him cry. Never even see him really get upset. Oh, that's a deep ready. We haven't even Yeah, that's not even a cards. question. And yeah. So what, I go first? Yeah, seeing as you cried. <laughs> okay. Red. Oh, oh, that's Red. Good. Who in your life drains you the most? Be honest. I'm not answering that. <laughs> no, that's wicked. <laughs> that's wicked. I'm no, not come on, that. come on. I'm not answering that. But the person's come to your mind. As soon as that question popped up, I knew he was going to say me. I was just waiting for him to build the courage to say it. Wait, so what does this mean if I don't answer it? It goes back in the box. You don't get the points. I think for the purpose of this, you... you... Okay, this is, this is honest. I'll say there was just moments where Oh, I thought you, you drained me very, very much. Um, not anymore now, because I feel like I've got that mindset now of everything you say to me is out of love and everything like that. But I think back then I didn't see it and I just felt you're getting on me and that, that really got to me. I didn't want to tell him, like I didn't want to get him upset or mad or angry or anything, but that was the whole point that gave me to open up. But it was good reactions at, at the end anyway, so it was all cool. So and you felt like I was getting on you too much? Uh, yeah, a lot. So. But yeah, now I feel, yeah. You see the reason? Yeah, yeah, I see the reason now. I'm happy with that. Yeah? Yeah. So I, I get that, yeah? You get the point. Who do you wish you could tell how much you love them and why haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's emotional. Um, all right, so when, when my nan passed away, mm -hmm. yeah, she had a heart attack. So oh. I went to the hospital and, um, my friends were at the park playing football and I was like, oh, Nan, um, I'm going to go because yeah, I want to yeah. play football. I gave her a hug and whatever and left, but there wasn't really this moment where I was kind of like really letting her yeah, know yeah, yeah. how much I loved her. And the next day I'm in the house and my mum comes in. She comes in and she's crying. Oh, man. Straight away, oh. I knew yeah. Nan's gone. If I knew that was my last moment with her, I would have given so much more to her. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that would be, yeah. that would be who I would tell how much I love them. Yeah, so you get this one. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Thanks guys. Um, what color? Wild card. <laughs> what does that mean? I get to ask the wildest oh, question. Okay. okay. Um, I can ask anything, right? Have you lied to me recently? And if so, what was the lie? Wow. Um. I've always felt that he's quite comfortable talking to me, but there were certain questions that popped up which um, clearly touched on topics that I had no idea about. I have, <laughs> but I can't, I can't say the lie. <laughs> So, no, so, you, so you can keep that card. No, because we're not just bypassing that. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> yeah. no, no, that's, no, that's no. not fair. No, that's not fair. no, no, hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Hear me out. Whatever that lie is, I won't come at you. Save space. So having I'm this not really a, a liar, though. That's no, you are clearly a liar, but it's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. It all just comes down with just, I didn't want to disappoint him. And obviously, I had to tell him I disappointed him. 
I can't say it. I can't say it. I'm sorry, I can't. Come on, come on. So, oh, oh, okay, so when we was on the phone about the whole college situation, and then you were saying, what's been going on with the, like, the attendance and stuff like that? And then I must have obviously said, yeah, no, I'm going and stuff like that. But obviously, I was, that was a lie, and I was taking, taking days off. I took one You were just staying days at home? Off. I was just staying at home, yeah. So, yeah. That's fine. Wow. That's fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's what we, we will do it. It happens. I think I could see in his response how difficult it was for him to actually tell me, but I really appreciated the fact that he was able to come to the table and, and share that with me. And hopefully my response has made him feel more comfortable about doing so in the future. No, you know what? I know that wasn't easy. I know that wasn't easy. Yeah, man. You get the points. You sweating? I love it. Wow. What is the happiest you remember being? The happiest I remember being. I feel like there was this moment when Tyler was born and you're at the hospital and you're holding Tyler for the first time. I don't remember that. You don't no, remember? No, no, no. But there's this moment where you're holding your brother and you're looking at him and I think I'm, I'm sitting next to you mm -hmm. and you was just so like, mesmerised. Like, oh, I don't remember that. And that was a moment where I was like, you know what? I just felt like I love this. Mm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see this protection you already had for him. Yeah. So, um, okay. yeah, that was like a moment that really stood out. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. It's going to be red. It is red. Yeah, <laughs> Who were you scared to disappoint and why? I'll probably, yeah, yeah, probably you. And it might be because I live with my mum 24-7, so she's kind of seeing the things I'm doing on a daily basis. But I feel like with you, I need to kind of step it up. I need to do something quite big to kind of to kind of get that reaction out of you. You know, you know what it is for me? My dad would always say, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm. But there'd be no actions to show that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're watering down the words. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of interesting to see he had so much like emotional memories still stuck of him. And I just learned that he's kind of kept a lot of things away, like emotionally. For, for me, I just want you to know that Whatever you do in life, mm -hmm. whatever you achieve, even if you don't achieve or fail or do whatever, my love for you is never going to change. Yeah. We'll work through things together and it's not going to change how I look at you. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Another six points. What colour? Uh, green. <laughs> What's a hidden talent you have that most people don't know about? I feel like I'm a great mimer of songs. I can't sing oh, at yeah. all, In the, but yeah, I would be yeah. able to convince you by miming. You'd be like, this guy can sing. Yeah. I can't sing, Amari. Okay. You know I can't sing, <laughs> yeah, you can't but sing. I can mime the hell out of a song. Cool, yeah. I'm, I'm taking that. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah, I'm yeah. happy with that one. I don't think he deserved that point for saying miming because I gave it to him just to, just to kind of make him feel good, but I don't think that one should have should have got it. It's red. Um, <laughs> it's actually red again, yeah. What is something that's been said about you that you'll never forget. Wow. I, I, never really thought, like, I never really told you, but like guys used to like, call me names back in like secondary school. I feel like the year seven or eight times. What is one of those comments that was said about you that has stuck with you? It's, just, it, it's so small, but like, If it's stuck with you, it's stuck with you. It's something silly like, uh, like a bean. <laughs> so obviously back then, they thought my head looked like a bean because my hair was short, face was long. So yeah, that's where, that's where the word come from. I had to get my hair cut quite short, so it didn't help. This is why you didn't like your hair being short. Yeah, no, and that makes sense. crushed my confidence badly. I remember that I, I went through a phase, like I had my hood up like the whole, the whole day because when guys used to call me like Bean and you know, I was saying ugly and all, all of that, my hood was up. Hit me because I remember him wearing his hood up a lot when we would go out, but I never connected it to anything he was going through at the time. I just thought it's just the way they dress or the way they act. So we're down to the last one. Mm -hmm. But before we go there, how have you found this? So it's not really fair because I have loads of records, but you know, it's, it's been fun. I think the, the record actually kind of made it a bit more fun, but I would have liked to see my dad get a bit more records as well so he could open up a bit more. Green. Uh, orange. Uh, What's yeah. something you wish you could tell your younger self? The opinion you have of yourself mm -hmm. is more important than the opinions that others have of you. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes I care so much about what other people are thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. and that can drain you. You yeah, put yeah. so much care 
into what someone else thinks of you. When in reality, as long as you're happy with what you're doing, mm -hmm. that's something I'll try and instill in myself a lot younger. So yeah, that's what I would go with. You got some good answers. Yeah. Yeah. You had it a lot harder than me, but yeah, I no, did. I love that. I really like this. No, it's, it's a really good game. I really feel like this has actually brought us closer together and given us a bit more of a comfort around talking to each other. It was actually really fun. I think it was a great way for obviously me and my dad to bond. It's made me feel more comfortable talking to him, but hopefully it's made him more comfortable opening up to me. So yeah, I'm really appreciative for today. Mm. Thank you. Can you get up? Give me a hug. Uh, oh, wow. Love you. Love you too, man.